What's going on guys, it's your boy Nas. Welcome back to another episode. Today I'll be talking about ticker symbol T-E-L-L Teleran, which is currently at $3.39. It's a penny stock. I know penny stocks has, has risk, but with the company's market capital of $1 billion, I feel like they could do so much. They have so much potential. Um, it's a penny stock, but with that capital, I don't think there will, there will be any loss getting into this company. Um, it's an energy sector company. I feel like when it comes to, you know, energy sector, I think this year is they're gonna pop and skyrocket like crazy based on Joe, uh, Joe Biden and him wanted to have more re renewable energy in the world. I feel like this stock is gonna skyrocket based on its graph and based on its percentage uh, I feel like this could be the next big thing to get into I, I know for sure I'm not financial advisor so I'm not gonna tell you to get into it do do did I just say do do uh, do your due diligence I feel like this stock could be the next thing uh, watch out for it put that in your watch list if you have to guys uh, before I start this video guys give this video a like if you enjoy this video subscribe and hit that notification I do make videos on stocks that has potentials and news that could help you analyze the stock a little bit more and for me I am 100% bullish on this stock I bought 100 shares uh, with 41 million volume with market capital of 1.01 .01 billion dollars of weekly high 52 weekly high of seven dollars and 97 cents and i feel like this stock could skyrocket to be honest so the so this friday they were up 25 percent then a week before they were up 43 percent and if you look at the month chart, they are 145, 145%. And if you go all the way back to three months, guys, this stock was up 280%. That is very bullish to me. When it comes to the percentage amount of gains they get, uh, I feel it could do so much good and I think this is this could be the next big stock uh, later in the future and maybe who knows it, it did get its price target of five dollars so I am a hundred percent in a long term for this stock um, I don't want to be the guy to tell you to buy stocks based on my analyst but you know at least you get an idea of what this stock is so so there's about eight analyst rating of you know let me give you the percentage it shows 12.5 percent by 62.5 percent holds and 25.0 percent sell I feel like that 25 percent sell rating is the fact that people are selling off when it got pumped up and that's probably why that was the rating for it because the 2020 you know we still had Trump as a president that's why this sector wasn't getting the love that it needed but pres with President Biden I feel like that's gonna change and so let's talk about what is Teleran. Teleran industry engage in producing natural gas and investing in natural gas projects. It develops portfolio of natural gas production, LNG marketing and infrastructure asset that includes an LNG terminal facility and associate pipeline in Southwest Louisiana. So guys, if you haven't heard Joe Biden's speech, he did talk about renewable energy and uh, try to get back up with the pipelines and stuff and knowing this company does deal with pipelines I feel like it's gonna get some love guys it this stock is gonna get some bullish love 
uh, that was me getting way too excited. So guys, let's talk about some of the news that uh, I gather up so I could tell you guys and maybe get some idea. Uh, so let me let me start off with okay so guys Teloran um, they hired three people to be in their board members and these three people has so much experience with you know with natural gas and LNG and I feel like the with the three guys that they hired is gonna impact the stock to go higher because the with the experience they have and who they are is just tremendous guys. Just crazy how good they are. So they hired Mr. Somos, a uh, president and CEO of Sampro LNG Midstream where he was responsible for all liquefied natural gas, LNG, and natural gas midstream activities, including Cameron LNG, a 12 million tonnes per annum MTPA liquid liquefaction facility that came on stream with the first LNG export in August 2019. So, Mr. Somo was the first guy who actually worked. Uh, with the LNG exports in August 2019. That, that's a good news. That's a good sign right there. Mr. Somos joins Telerom as an exclusive vice president, LNG marketing and business development. He has an en uh, engineered degree from Georgia Institute of Technology and from the University of Massachusetts, Dartmouth, and he is registered as a professional engineer. Great. That just shows how good he is. So Jonathan Gross, second person, is an oil and gas consultant and his company Zesco LLC provides upstream exploration and geological services. Formerly, he was a senior vice president and energy partner and also worked at Kuwait Energy Company and um, Chenier Energy. Oh my God. Come on. Another great guy, guys. With these members, what could go wrong with this company? Let's keep going. He served on board of director of Chenier Energy Holdings from 2014 to 2018. He's, he's certified. Mr. Gross is certified as a geologist. And the third person they hired is... John John Abatubal is a president of G Janelle, the Paris-based international group of LNG imports, founded in 1971. He uh, Janelle Janelle company has 86 members, company headquartered in 27 countries, and Janelle member handle more than 90% of LNG imports worldwide. Come on. So guys, these guys are crazy. You they hired three members to join their company and they're all classified as a engineer, geologist and an experts on natural gas and uh up midstreaming LNGs. Oh my god, that is just crazy. But let's go with a little bit of the grab that I want to show you guys. I'm not going to read everything here. You could, you could pause the video. There's just a couple of things they're um, planning in for the future and what they're dealing with throughout. This is like a sheet of, you know, showing you just what they're up to. Uh, I'm not going to read everything. So if you could pause the video, it's going to be somewhere here. Um, as far as like, you know, there's this there's this little uh, thing that I got and I want to read to you guys because it's something that you really need to put in your head. Um, it says, along with most developers, the second wave US LNG project, Tolerant struggled in 2020 to sign long-term you know, supply deals need for advanced project to construct 
to constructions at a full development ha about half of Jetwood's 27.6 million tonnes per year of approved capacity is expected to be used by the equity investment partner that Talon has been seeking. The remaining cap uh, capacity would be held by Talon to, to market on its own. Talon has upstream assets in the Hyannis Shell where it plans to produce more natural gas that would feed the terminal. Dreadwood LNG's commercial model contempl uh, contemplates that it may act as a full service provider from acquisition of competitive gas production in the United States to deliver LNG to international market of Dreadwood LNG terminal. Talloran told first works in the application they said it, they said there would be no direct linkage between contract for gas bought from infiltrated producers or suppliers and so a separate contract for the sale of LNG to take care it is also said that alpha trades that sell gas to Jetvo LNG would be different from alpha trade that buy LNG from Dreadboard. So guys, um, this company has three board members with so much experience and each of them deals with so much, uh, you know, LNGs and with natural gas. I feel like with the three members on the board, this stock gonna skyrocket and they're doing so much things for the world. The fact that you know, they want to have natural gas for everybody in the U.S., uh, renewable gas, um, energy. I feel like this stock going to go skyrocketing. I am 100% bullish on this stock. I think this could be a long-term stock. Uh, it's still a penny stock, so it could be risky, guys. Do your due diligence and find out more about this company if you can. Go to, the, go to their websites. The CEO actually has some of the videos of him talking about the company. I feel like he could do, this company could do so much goodness, guys. Um, Alright guys, I'm about to sign off. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, see you in the next video. Let's make some gains and make some profits, guys. Okay.